Good afternoon, this is Colton with Build Brothers Roofing and Solar doing a digital roof inspection here for a homeowner that currently has tenants living in the place, um, but we are having and experiencing something that's very common with an older roof is damage from wood rot, right? So we can see right here, this rafter right here, you can see the termite damage that has occurred. It's very common uh, in San Diego to have termite damage. It's uh, during a roofing project, we replace bad rafters, you know, fascia, uh, you know, plywood underneath during every project it's it's part of the uh you know roof replacement process and we want to ensure that we put a new roof on a sturdy roof that has good wood right um you know some of this could just be paint damage right but you know south facing fascia does get a lot of damage from the sun and so typically we have to replace these fascia boards right um and uh a thorough roofing company is going to replace all that bad wood where some other roofing companies might uh, you know, just cover up the bad wood. Uh, this is the fascia board, right? This is the metal metal drip edge, right? Um, and then this is the starter shingle right here. Um, this is an asphalt shingle roof, but it is an older style of shingle. It's called the three tab. Uh, it uh, typically isn't uh, manufactured anymore. Uh, most, more, most shingle roofs have an architectural asphalt shingle style, which has a little bit more texture. It's not as flat sitting. Um, what happens to a shingle roof over time is the sun beats it up. It kind of dehydrates the oils out and uh, you start to see a lot of the granules come off and then you can start to see granule loss, right? So you see all the black tar kind of showing through and then uh, and then that leads to the eventual um, uh, need for replacement due to leaks occurring and do, and the integrity of the shingles being compromised. But, um, but yeah, the south facing roof planes are going to have a little bit more granule loss because they get more sun exposure. And you can see the shingles are starting to to fall off here, right? And then we also have a flat roofing system as well. Um, I did check this roof for how many layers it has. And you can see where a little repair has been done. A little shingles were put back. But you can see under there that there is a second layer of shingles. So by building code, we can only have two layers of shingles on a roof. Uh, any more than that, and then there's considered a weight issue. And so for a roof replacement process, we definitely recommend uh, tearing this down to the wood decking so we can replace any of the bad wood, right? Uh, severe, this is considered severe granule loss, right? We have uh, nails in all the ridge caps, um, which is not a building practice anymore. And so this is gonna create um, access for water to go through, right? We have damage to the shingles itself, right? Uh, severe granule loss right here. This is a piece of drip edge that was that was taken and put and put off right and then shingles scattered around the roof right um the uh the flat section also really concerns me right um it looks like it was the material is relatively newer but the there was air in the installation right uh flat roofing systems are very important because they don't shed water as quick so you really have to make sure the seams are waterproof right this is a rolled roofing material called modified bitumen torch down very common um, and it rolls out and basically with a flamethrower you heat up the bottom in it and then you have bleed out that kind of seals the seams well there are some roofers that um, still use uh, nails and so there's nails along all of these seams right this is nailed nailed and uh, we can even see little bubbles that are happening right here right and then a way for water to get underneath that um, you know, what you just want to see is this bleed out, no nails. Now nails are an easy access way for water to get in, right? And this is congruent along the whole installation of this flat roof, right? Um, it will not last as long as it should be because these nails allow water to get in and all these access points right here, right? So, um, shingle roof definitely needs to be replaced. I am very concerned with the installation of this. Um, doesn't look like it was an experienced roofer because this is something you definitely don't want to see as uh, as water can travel in and there will be more than likely leaks occurring. Um, but yeah, this is the, the shingle roof. We can see this side, the granule loss that has occurred. So, uh, and we can also see little sections of flashing that are kind of coming up, which is right here. Um, yeah, so, Yes, in our professional opinion from Build Brothers, uh, it's definitely recommended um, to strip all the existing roofing material down to the wood decking. That includes this flat section um, 
and uh, the two layers on this get it down to the wood replace any bad bad wood plywood right from previous leaks and whatnot fascia rafters re-secure this roof with a new 50 year total protection owens corning uh asphalt shingle roof and uh and secure this for the homeowner so that they never have to worry about it again we don't want to cut any corners we just want to do it right and so this is the professional recommendation we'll get the homeowner a quote thank you